Today I'm going to show you how to get R-Factor 2 up and running in VR. Doesn't matter what headset you have or video card, I do believe this will help just about anybody. I'm specifically targeting the HP Reverb G2 on the 30 series cards. And with a few tips and tricks, you could be up and running in no time. Stick around. Okay, this is how I go about getting a good experience in VR. I'll put a link in the description down below for this R Factor 2 settings widget. All right, it, uh, it's fantastic. Download latest release, downloaded the portable zip file. Already did that, already unzipped it. And this is what you're going to get. You come on down here. And you click on that right there. Okay. Once you fire it up, this is what you're going to get. This is my preset, so you won't see that. This is my preset. You won't see that. You're going to have high, ultra, VR high, VR low, medium, you know, medium sharp. Again, different headsets can probably utilize a lot of these presets. Um, I think no matter what I got, I'd start with VR high, and then I'd start backing down from there. If it really starts tanking, go to VR low. If you got good frame rates, start bumping some things up. You know, just maybe go between these two, I mean, these three before you start messing with any of the individual settings, which are right here, graphic settings. Okay, so VR high, this is all default. This is all default. We just make sure I didn't change anything. Let's see. Texture sharpening was plus one. It was all blurry. And so what I did, let's just go. I'll show you what I changed. All right. I've got a 90 FPS locked. I bumped this up to low from off. It's a 0.5% CPU utilization. It gave me, I think it, I think low just takes care of the glare. It gave me a little bit better picture. Semi-noticeable. Maybe it's just in my head. But um, I noticed no performance difference, so I left it. Okay, if I would have saw some degradation in the video, uh, frame rate, etc., I'm not going back to off. It's not, a, you know, it's not important. That could be to your liking, but I noticed no performance difference with a 0.5% CPU uh, utilization for that. Um, this is default. I tried a little bit over the top, got some jitters and frame tanking, put it back to four, and I'll show you why you can really get away with four and not have that bad of aliasing. Um, this is all default on VR high. So I left that alone. Came down here, left this alone, except your MIP load bias, I just turned it off. Okay, it's almost like, um, you know, it, it'll get a sharper image if you go in the negatives, and it blurs the image if you go in the positives. The last thing I wanted to do was blur anything more out unnecessarily, but I couldn't handle the negative one, started to see some frame tank. Um so really, that was the only thing I changed there. This is the big bonus. This is why you can run 4X MSAA, because you now have the sharpening mode, okay? Fast is by default, probably for good reason, because that's what I went back to. I tried them both, AMD cast. Now, I think you can use uh, any video cards, not like proprietary or anything. Just try them out, no big deal. If you disable them, you're going to be back to stock game. That's what drove me crazy is it just was you know, too blurry, and having it, the ability to sharpen that image and run a 4X MSAA is fantastic. So that got me where I needed to get. So I left that on default. Um, I really played around with color correction mode. God, wouldn't it be so neat to get rid of that bluish and, you know, the over brightness um, in R-Factor 2, especially in VR, couldn't do it. 
Um, you got loot files in here with presets. Go ahead, try them out. Somebody can get on something that looks good. Let me know. I'd really, really be interested to tweak the colors. I got some good colors, but I had weird things going on, swirly sky and stuff like that. And honestly, the frames were, you know, kind of questionable. I don't know if that, you know, how bad that really affects frame rate, you know, coloring and stuff like that. But again, real happy with what I, you know, the end result, just having that disabled. Okay. Contrast saturation went up, went down, went in the middle, both ways. Fiddled around for quite a while on that one. Just couldn't get it where I wanted it. Ended up disabling it. Quite happy with it. This really, um, so, so in essence, this is default on VR high, this is your circle radiuses. You, you know, you can fiddle around with that per headset. Matter of fact, I probably need to go in there and figure out exactly what's good for a G2. So, you know, didn't mess with this, might need to. Um, didn't touch none of this. All right, and then that's it. You click on start R factor two and voila, you're rocking and rolling. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Um, I also want to mention my Steam VR settings. That's very important. I am running uh, Steam VR at eighty percent. Okay, and uh, per application setting is at sixty. I tried a bunch of different stuff. I tried to bump this up to eight X. A, uh, MSAA and then turn that down to 50 didn't work look better just going back up to 60 and per application and leaving it at 4x so I turn the AI's down quite a bit way way lower than I would normally to race but I, I want to try to stay in a pack here and see if I can have consistent frame rates I think I got them down to like 89 or something like that so far so good I've been enjoying this uh, you know without recording I don't have OBS running I don't have this uh, this FPS uh, you know running and not noticing much of uh, you know glitching and stuff like that I know OBS puts a little bit of stress on this thing so those were my steam settings I'm um, running a asus rogue strix rtx 3080 oc and it's just stock i don't have nothing um you know it's an overclock version so the boost clock's like 1900 something which is a you know pretty good pretty good 3080 card and um, i9 10 850k solid state drive you know m2 drive or whatever they call them the little ones that go on the motherboard just speaking off the top of my head look at that i mean really I cannot believe I can do this at 90. All right, that was a quick demo. I hope everybody gets something out of this video. Let me know how it works out for you. If you find any good color presets that work pretty well, let me know. I'd be interested to hear from you. If you like what I do, like and subscribe. Thanks again. Appreciate it.